What's up guys? Welcome to Guitar of the Day at Norman's Rare Guitars. My name is Sara Rogo. Lemo is on tour, so I'm stepping in doing Guitar of the Day today. <laughs> Woo! Woo! It's a girl's day here at Norman's. Just kidding, the guys are still here, but <laughs> Unfortunately. back here me and Jen like to pretend like it's a girl's day. Um, but today I got a cool guitar. I always like to take a pass around the store and see what kind of catches my eye. Nothing, it's not about the price to me, it's all about the vibe. So I'm gonna actually show you a really affordable favorite of mine. Come on back. Um, so this is a 1956 silver tone Ooh. YouTube ginger vinyl. So U2 means two pickups. Um, so 1956, this is an amazing condition. And my favorite part about this neck or about this guitar is the neck and the lightness of it. Um, so it's a super simple kind of bare bones guitar. Um, and you can tell that it's from the 50s. Uh, because of actually the input jack. The input jack on the f in the 50s was um, on the side. When the production was made in the 60s, it was on the front. Um, kind of little nerd fact. You don't really need to know, but I'm giving it to you. Um, so these little witch hats here um, are actually called concentric stacked knobs. Uh, and they actually move um, in these two different parts. So we have uh, the, the tone and the volume of each pickup. So yeah, I'll, I'll flip over the guitar. So you can see a little bit more. Um, so it is vinyl back and sides, which I love. I'm a texture girl. Wow. And take a look at this neck. I mean, I don't know. I just, I like the thick necks. It's vintage, it's worn on the side. You could tell this guitar was well played. Um, it holds its tune great. It's in really great condition. Um, you know, it's bare bones, but in the most beautiful, beautiful way possible. The simplicity kind of allows um, the music to shine, in my opinion. So I really want to show you uh, how this guitar sounds out front. So let's take it for a spin. Let's go. Woo, woo, woo. woo! All right, we're out front with the 1956 Silvertone U2. Um, I actually wanted to pull out the, the U1 right next to me. Um, this one's super sexy as well. It has a little bit of a different uh, face on it, but um, yeah, they're just really beautiful guitars. Uh, I'm gonna demo the, the U2 for you guys. Um, plugged into the deluxe reverb amp and I have um, a Cordial Cable I'm using today. They're actually sponsored the store. They're an amazing company. I actually s strictly use them for, for my gigs and it matches the guitar. So, you know, you gotta <laughs> go with it. I know Lemo doesn't care about matching, but I do. Oh, he does. Oh, I know he does. Like, you won't admit <laughs> it. But all right, so I'm gonna play a few tunes and then demonstrate this this uh, beautiful workhorse of a guitar. And right now I'm uh, on the neck. Um, neck pickup.
guitar is perfect for that song. Um, and the next song that I'm gonna play as well because I find, especially with a thick <laughs> neck, it has like a really good thunk to it. It has a like a woody, round, um, low end, but with like a lot of character. Um, and that's why I love old guitars because it's not always about um, it's not always about the price. Some vintage guitars are very expensive, but some are not. Back in the day, these guitars were just made so well, um, but at low cost. Um, so anyway, that was um, the the neck pickup. To be perfectly honest with this guitar, there isn't a huge difference between um, the different switches, but I will show you there is a little bit of, of a difference here. So the middle. sometimes but usually I keep my my tone and volume on full and then I adjust with the amp but it is sometimes cool to play along uh, play around with with the hats here um, so anyway let's play a song once I find the pick that I just dropped um, I'm gonna take off a little bit of the reverb just so you can hear that again I chose a song uh, that uh, really exemplifies that nice funk of this guitar. I'm going to do the middle switch. few of these at the store here so come check it out here at Norman's Rare Guitars and remember we have all of our guitars on our reverb page. Uh, my name is Sara Rogo. It's a pleasure to host Guitar of the Day. You can find my uh, stuff at sararogo.com or you can go to Rogo the Wild on Instagram and you can find me on Facebook and all that jazz. LinkedIn, find me on LinkedIn. <laughs> I am on LinkedIn. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning into Guitar of the Day. Until next time, bye. 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 That was awesome.